Welcome back to 007 and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create your own custom jump lists in Windows 7 or 8. Now for those of you who do not know what a jump list is, a jump list is essentially the thing that happens when you right click on a program while it's on the taskbar at the bottom. So for example this is the jump list for Chrome at least for me. So it shows you my, your most visited websites so over there, there, there and you have tasks like creating a new window or a new incognito window. If you right click on something like Windows Explorer, it will bring you, it will show you your most frequent visited folders. Now if you head over to the website I'll have in the description below, I was using Jump List Launcher, I was showing you guys how to create your own jump list on the taskbar, basically for quick and easy access to launching applications. So go to the website, I'll have a link in the description below, and then you can go ahead and download it. Now it's only half a megabyte and it's not an actual install program, so it shouldn't take too long at all to set up. Now once you download it, you'll have to open it up in an um, archive application like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now my suggestion is once you open it up, uh, drag the jump list launcher to a folder in your document. So if I were you, I'd create a jump list folder and then drag the jump list launcher in there. You'll see why later in the video. Now the application is a portable application, so once you've um, thrown it there, you can actually go ahead and just open up directly. And here we go, we can start creating our first jump list. So we have group one, so we can change it to anything we like. So for example, we can just change, by double clicking it, we can change it to programs. Let me go ahead and hit add file and then go ahead and start adding some programs. So for example here I'll add Google Chrome, I'll add BitTorrent Sync, and I'll add Titanfall. Now you can go ahead and adjust these by moving them up and down using the arrows or completely delete it if you don't like it. Now me, I want a capital C in my Chrome. Now what you also want to do is make sure you can you press save changes to apply the effect. Now you can also change the icon by clicking icon here and then replacing it with your own custom icon. But once again, make sure you hit save changes to apply the changes. Once you're done with the section you're done with, you can actually hit add group and add another group. So, and change that name to, for example, as example. Now another cool thing you can do is actually add folders. So for example, we can add the documents folder. And that will actually give us a direct link to this folder right here. Now you can create a bunch of different uh, groups and lists and everything. And then once you're done, all you have to do is hit update jump list. And you'll notice when you hit update and exit out that in your jump list folder, you're going to have the settings.dat file and the icons folder. This is the reason I wanted you guys to create a folder because if you actually delete these two files, then it basically resets jump list launcher and you have to create your list again. Now you're pretty much done. All you have to do is just right click it and pin it to the taskbar. And you'll see now if you right click jump list launcher, you have your examples and everything we made there. And by right clicking or by clicking one of them, it simply opens up Chrome or whatever you used right away. Now, if you want to edit your jump list, simply go to Jumps Launcher, and then you can remove something. So let's say you don't want Titanfall anymore, you can remove Titanfall, update it, and then immediately Titanfall is gone. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll show you guys one last little tip. If you don't like the jump list launcher icon, you can create a shortcut to it by right clicking and clicking create shortcut. And then go to properties here and change the icon to something a little more um, user friendly or whatever it may be. So, for example, do a folder. Now, I pin this one there. And then you go and have a folder there instead. And when you click that, you still have your programs, etc. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. So, if you guys did enjoy watching the video, if you did, leave a thumbs up. If any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave those below as well. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. And so thanks for watching. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.